Hello everyone, this is Al Red Sox Fan coming to you from Al Red Sox Fan YouTube channel. Hope all is well. And we're going to continue with our 1977 New York Metropolitan replay. And it is August 10th, 1977. And it's the Mets taking on the Cardinals here at Shea. Action PC Baseball 2020. We just put up on the channel a great teams battle between the 61 Yankees and the 31 Philadelphia Athletics. But now we're going to continue with our 77 Metropolitan replay. The Mets, a surprising New York Metropolitan teams, 57 and 53. As we got the Go Go Mets go going. Take on the St. Louis Cardinals, 55 and 58. Leading off for the Cardinals, Lou Brock, he's in left. Gary Templeton bats second, he's at shortstop. Hector Cruz is in right field and will bat third. Ted Simmons does the catching and bats cleanup. Freed is at first base, he'll bat fifth. Mumphreys is in center field, batting sixth. Putting on the Ritz is at third base, manning the hot corner, batting seventh. Mike Tyson, not the pugilist, the second baseman, batting eighth. On the mound, batting ninth, Tom Underwood, the left-hander. For the Metropolitans, Lenny Randall riding a 41-game hit streak. Will lead things off, play third base. Felix the Cat Mian, bats second, plays second. Mike Vale is in right field. He'll bat third, crushes left-handed pitcher. Batting fourth, doing the catching, Jerry Brody. Batting fifth, the worst 300 hitter I've ever managed in a sim game, Steve Henderson. And he's in left. Lee Mazzilli plays center, bat six. John Stearns will come out from behind the plate and play first base, bat seventh. Doug Flynn is at short, batting eighth. On the mound, batting ninth. Craig Swan here at Shea Stadium. In the time machine, we have Jake Cruz and Jay, uh, DJ. Hope all is well. As DJ says hello from the West Coast. All right, so Lou Brock's at the plate. Brock batting 282, no homers, 17 ribbies, 6 out of 10. Bunter. Corners will move in. So Stearns in at first, Randall in at third. Craig Swan in the replay, 6 and 5, with a 3.62 earned run average. In actuality, 9 and 10, 4.23. Brody, 4 to 10 defensive range, 6 out of 10 arm on the plate. Stearns, not very good at first, 2 out of 10. He's in there because he's a right handed bat. Mian's a 7 at second. Flynn's a 7 at short. So the Mets are strong up the middle when it comes to defensive range. Randall's average at third, 5 out of 10. Henderson, 6 out of 10 range, 2 out of 10 arm. Zilli, 6 and 6 for range and arm in center. And Vale, 7 out of 10 range, 8 out of 10 arm. Here's the pitch to Brock. Brock flies deep to Henderson in the corner and left, one out. Now bring up Gary Templeton. He's got a 14-game hitting streak. He's batting 348, six homers, 58 ribbies. Again, corners move in. He's a 10 out of 10 bunker. You got to respect that. Brody sets the target to pitch to Templeton. Line shot to Doug Flynn. Great reaction by the Mets shortstop. Two up, two down. And here comes Hector Cruz. He has an eight-game hitting streak. They all pale in comparison to Lenny Randall's hit streak. You'll see that when the Mets come up to bat. Cruz batting 253, seven home runs, 26 ribbons. Swan and the Mets looking for a one, two, three. And the pitch to Cruz. Fly ball to Vail and right. And he makes the catch. One, two, three. Go the card. The bottom of the first, scoreless here at Shea. Lenny Randall will lead things off, and there he is. 41 game hit streak. Uh, and he'll be followed by Mian and Vale. Underwood on the mound. He's a left handed pitcher. 2 and 5 in the replay, 6.85. In actuality, 6 and 9, 4.95. Ted Simmons behind the plate. He's a 6 range, 6 arm. Freed is at first. That's Roger Freed. He's a two, not one. 
Tyson and Templeton strong up the middle. Tyson's a seven. Templeton's an eight. And Ritz, very good at the hot corner. Can putting on the Ritz. He's an eight. Brock is a two and two in left. An aging new Brock. Mumphrey, Jerry Mumphrey, a three and a five arm. And Hector Cruz, a three range, nine arm in right. And I shall be back in a moment. So Lenny Randall, 41 game hit streak. He's gonna go for the drag bunt for number 42. Here's the pitch, the drag bunt. Randall puts down a good one. Underwood has it, throws to Tyson on the wheel play and they get Randall by two steps. So the hit streak is not extended with the drag bunt. Here comes Felix the Cat Mian, 246, one homer, 41 ribbies. The pitch to Mian. Ground ball to Freed. Freed waves off Underwood, takes it to the bag, two down. So two up, two down for the Metropolitans. Here comes Mike Vail, 344, 10 homers, 29 ribbies. He feasts on left-handed pitching. He plays predominantly against left-handed pitching. Simmons behind the plate, puts the target up. The pitch to Vail. And swing and a miss. Simmons picks it up, throws the first to complete the strikeout. One, two, three, go the Metropolitans. Top of the second, do up for the Cardinals. Simmons, Freed, and Mumphrey to face Craig Swan. Ted Simmons, 364, nine homers, 70 ribbies, just elected into the Baseball Hall of Fame in reality. Swan nods his head, Brody sets the target, he rocks and deals to Simmons. Base hit to right, Vale has it. So a leadoff single for Simmons. Stearns will hold Simmons on, here comes Roger Freed. Reed batting 403, six homers, 15 ribbies, only 67 at bats. Mets hoping for a double play ball. Swan peaks the first. The windup and the pitch to Freed. Fly ball, right center field. Veil on the move makes the catch. One down. Simmons retreats the first. Here's the center fielder for the Cardinals, Jerry Mumphrey. 289, two homers, 27 ribbies. Left-handed bat. Swan throws to first. Simmons is back. Stearns applied the tag just a little late. Grody wiggles the fingers. Swan nods his head. He rocks and fires to Mumphrey. Fly ball. Veil on the move. Right center field towards the track. And he makes the catch again. Retreating the first to Simmons. Two down. Here's Ritz. Ken Rich, 232, 12 homers, 59 ribbies, six game hitting streak. Right handed bat. The pitch to Ritz. Fouls it back to the screen. The count goes one and two. Brody sets up outside. The windup and the pitch. Fly ball, center field. Mazzilli ranging to his left, makes the catch. And the side is retired. That pitch uh, tailed inside, but they get the fly ball out. Bottom of the second, no score here at Shea. Do up for the Mets, Grody, Henderson, and Mazzilli. Jerry Grody, 349, no homers, 17 ribbies. He's going to take Underwood deals. That's a ball. Grody will take until there's a strike. Ball two. Simmons getting a bit miffed with Underwood. He wants him to hit the target. Grody puts the bat on his shoulders. There's a strike, a 2-1 count, hitter's count for Jerry. He awaits the Underwood offering, pitch homeward bound. Grody, base hit to right, right on cue. He works the count, he singles to right. Here come the go-go Metropolitans. DJ John asks, what do you think, Al? Do you see a difference between the version uh, this year's and last? I think the animation's smoother. Um, and that's what I look for, the animation. The gameplay is the same. Uh, it looks like the sim engine's a bit... They actually pitched out a couple of times in my prior game tonight. 
which I didn't pick up on until I looked over. I'm like, why is my guy not swinging to protect on the hit and run? Uh, to which I adapted my play call, uh, and we ended up getting hit the third time we attempted that. Uh, but I, I think the animation is smoother. They've done it. They've pretty much unif uh, it's uniform now with the football game, the hockey game, the basketball game, the way the schedule looks. Uh, the reports look a little nicer. They give you a lot more. Uh, they always give you good stat reports and things like that. Uh, to me, I like buying it because I think it's at good value. I'm not telling anyone to buy it. Um, I'm just saying I like it because I picked up the 2020 Great Teams League, which I played a game tonight online. Uh, and you got the 1925 season and the 1974 season. I buy the mid-range package. I bought it early, so I got a discount there. And then I got the $5 discount for upgrading. That's me. I, I do enjoy it. A uh, huge difference. They've, they've tweaked it a bit. I can't say a huge... Uh, the animation's much smoother. Uh, I like that they give you the little weather thing, partly uh, partly sunny. And if you click on it, uh, a little screen comes up. Uh, it's, and it's You can't see it. I'm not going to bring it up. It says temperature 79 degrees. Uh, wind 10 miles left to right. 15% chance of rain. So that's kind of neat. I mean, little, little new things, but the animation seems smoother. So Grody's at first. Uh, here's Steve Henderson, 322, two homers, 16 ribbies, the worst 300 hitter I've ever managed in any type of sim game. Let's see what Hendu can do. He's going to take. Let's work the count on Underwood. And there's a strike, so Underwood starts off with a strike. Simmons happy about that. 0-1 count. Freed holding on Grody. Underwood really not paying attention to him. He rocks and deals to Steve Henderson. Henderson fouls back to the screen. 0-2 count. Henderson looking to grip and rip. He awaits the offering. Pitch homeward bound. And base hit to left. All right. Grody is going to hold only a 49% chance of being saved. So first and second, the Mets lead off. The bottom of the second with two singles, one by Cody, one by Henderson. Here it goes. The only star hands up here. He's in the Zilly batting 284. Four home runs, 38 ribbons. Let's see what Zilly's going to do here. He's going to take. They're going to work the count on Underwood. There's a strike. So Underwood trying to jump out ahead. That's what Simmons, the catcher, wants him to do. No balls, one strike. There's the hit and run. There go the runners. Swing and a miss. Grody is safe. It's a double steal. The Go-Go Mets pull a fast one. They catch the Cardinals napping. Mazzilli missed the swing. It was uh, the ball, excuse me, was outside. Mazzilli was swinging to protect. And Grody steals third. Henderson steals second. So with no outs, second and third, 0-2 count to Mazzilli, though he chokes up a bit on the bat, switch hitter batting right. Here's the pitch from Underwood. And Mazzilli, base hit to left. One run scores. Henderson will be held up. Only a 56% chance as Brock charged the ball well. And Mazzilli claps his hands at first. One nothing. One nothing. Like Uncle Ron, LOL. Uncle Ron's the best. Uh, he says, DJ says, I'm addicted. I already bought it. Sight unseen. It's it's a fun game. I enjoy the action PC games. I also picked up uh, the hockey game that Out of the Ballpark does, uh, Hockey Manager 6. It was on sale. Um, so I picked that up, you know, uh, for half price. And Out of the Ballpark 20. Is on sale for five dollars, four ninety-nine. All right, W Vogs at the ballpark. How you doing, my friend? Check out his channel. So Henderson's at third, Mazzilli's at first. One nothing Mets. No outs. Here's John Stearns. He's taking again. We worked the count. Here's a strike. So Underwood is just putting that. Mets are taking. He's putting the strike over. 0-1. Stearns is ready. The pitch. And Stearns grounds it to free. And we're going to send Henderson home. They're going to go for two. Templeton back to free. But Mazzilli breaks up the double play. Nice job by Lee Mazzilli going hard into Templeton. Upending him. Again, clock.
clapping his hands like a maniac. It's 2 0 Matt Stearns will be credited with a ribbing. So Stearns at first, one out. He's dug the lane. He's hitting 197, no homers, 19 ribbies. The hit and run. There goes Stearns. Flynn grounds deep to Templeton at short, who quickly fires a strike to Freed. Two down, but Stearns is in scoring position for Craig Swan. Swan is batting 278 in our replay with three ribbies, no homers. He's going to take. Here's a pitch from Underwood. Outside corner, strike one. Swan didn't like the call. He's going to take again. A little farther outside, ball one. So they wanted to see if Swan was going to go on a fishing exposition. He did not. 1-1 one, one count. Stearns will be off on contact. 2-0 Mets. Two outs. Stearns takes his lead from second. The pitch to Swan. And Swan grounds it to Tyson. Tyson ranges towards second. Fires to free. And the inning is over. But the Metropolitans put two on the board. We go to the top of the third. 2-0 Mets. Due up for the Cardinals. Tyson, Underwood, the top of the order. Lou Brock. Mike Tyson, not the pugilist, the second baseman. 237, four home runs, 32 ribbons. He awaits the offering from Swan, and here it is. Fly ball to right. Vale goes back at the track. He juggles it, and he drops the ball. Vale, very, usually very sure-handed, makes a two-base error in right. As he drops the ball, he can't say the sun got in his eyes, that's for sure. And that's a horrible error. Here's Underwood. They're going to go aggressive to Underwood. He's probably going to try to put a bunt down. He does. Grody has it. Throws to Mian, who's covering first on the wheel play. One out, advancing. The third is Tyson. Two nothing. One out. Tyson at third, top of the order. Lou Brock, he's 0 for 1. Brock, a left handed bat. Grody goes through the side. Swan nods his head. The pitch to Brock. And, oh, ball four. Swan wanted to know where that pitch was on the 3-2. They're saying it was high and tight. He thought he had the uh, strike at the belt inside. And here's Templeton. He's 0 for 1, 14-game hitting streak. They're hoping that he grounds into a double play. Tying run at first, and Brock Templeton represents the go-ahead. Brody again sets the target. The wind-up and the pitch from Swan to Templeton. Fly ball, Henderson in left, ranges over, makes the catch. Will Tyson tag? He's going to tag, and Henderson's going to throw home. Here's a throw to the plate, Grody blocking. But as Tyson slides in safely, Brock advances to the throw to the plate, tying run in scoring position. He took a shot there. Henderson, not known for a good arm, did get a good, quick, accurate throw, just not enough oomph on it. Here's Hector Cruz. Cruz is 0 for 1. Simmons on deck. Swan peeks over his shoulder. Now he deals to Cruz. Fly ball, Mazzilli. Deep center. Mazzilli at the track in front of the wall. Makes the catch. The side is retired. St. Louis cuts the lead in half. They put one on the board. We go to the bottom of the third, 2 to 1. Metropolitan in our 77 rebound. Lenny Randall will lead things off, followed by Felix the Cat Mian and Mike Vale. So Vale's horrific error leads to a unearned run for the Cardinals. Randall, 0 for 1, 41 game hit streak on the line here. Second plate appearance. Corners in for the Cardinals. Here's the pitch to Randall. And Randall rips her shot to left. 42 game hit streak for Lenny Randall. Folks, you are witnessing history. 42 game hit streak. Lead off single for Lenny Randall. 67% chance of stealing second. Here comes Felix Mian. Here goes the hit and run. Mian makes contact, base hit to right. Randall hits second on his way to third. So the go go Mets continue to put the pressure on the Cardinals. First and third for the Mets, and here comes Mike Vale wanting to make up for that horrific error that led to the Cardinals' run in the top of the third. Randall at third, Mian at first. Vail 0 for 1, struck out. Underwood's ready to work. He deals to Vail. Vail, ground ball to Ritz. They're going to send Randall home. Ritz to Tyson. Tyson is upended by Felix Mian. Again, the Metropolitans go hard, hard.
third into second. First, Vasily uphands Templeton. And now, Elgato Felix Mian. Another run scores three to one Mets. These are the go go Mets. They take no prisoners. Sports Time Machines at the ballpark. Check out that wonderful channel. So Vale picks up a ribby. Here's Jerry Grody. He is one for one. There's the hit and run. There goes Vale. Grody swings, lines a shot foul down the left field line. One ball, one strike, hit and run on again. Grody, ground ball to Tyson, who ranges way across the bag. His only plays to first. Did they get Grody? Yes, they did. Vale's at second with two outs, and here comes Steve Henderson. Henderson's one for one. He's single. First base is unoccupied. On deck, Lee Mazzella. Henderson will take. Outside corner, ball one. He's going to swing away now. Green light. And he walks. So it's first and second. Mets continue to apply the pressure. It's steady pressure. Three to one Mets. Two outs, two on. Bottom of third. Lee Mazzilli is one for one. Here's the pitch to Mazzilli. And Mazzilli fouls it back to the screen. One ball, two strikes now. Runners will be off on contact. Vale at second, six out of ten base run. The same with Henderson at first. But they're going to get those extra steps with two outs. Yep, Strat extended their sales. Uh, I'm glad. I bought, I've bought. i been buying a lot of stuff from Strat on sale. Uh, I have a new PC coming in, so I slowed up that because I have to figure out how you move Strat from one computer to the other. I think you basically unauthorize it on one computer, reauthorize it on the other. I think that's the way that works. And I have to save all my files and all that stuff. So. All right, 1-2 to Mazzilli. Two outs, two on, 3-1 Mets, bottom of third. Underward kicks and deals to Mazzilli. And Mazzilli grounds it, Ritz. Goes a short way to Tyson. The side is retired. The Mets strand two, but they pick up one. We go to the top of the fourth. Three to one Metropolitans. Due up for the Cardinals. Simmons, Freed, and Mumford. Ted Simmons is one for one. Swan back up on the bump. 48 pitches. Good for 120. He deals to Simmons. Simmons rips a shot to center. That's a base hit. He's two for two. He's a hitting machine, this catcher. Here's Freed. Roger Freed. 0 for one. Dropped him below 400, 397. Swan hoping to keep the ball down for a double play. Brody wiggles the finger, sets the target, the pitch to free. Fly ball, Veil on the run, and he makes the catch in right field. He didn't juggle this one, retreating back to first is Simmons. Eric from Higher Ground Gaming's at Shea. Check out that marvelous channel. He says, I bought hockey, football, and basketball games for Strat this year. Uh, I did the same. <laughs> so Eric and I are in the same. I'm enjoying Strat. Um, and I'll be, I, it's tough for me to stream now. My dad's not doing well. I'll take care of him. So. When I get a moment, I like to stream. It relaxes me. All right. One out, one on for Mumphrey's. 0 for 1. Again, double play ball gets Swan and the Metropolitans out of the inning. They throw over the first. Stearns applies the tag and Simmons just beats it. Swan again looks towards first. Now he deals to Mumphrey. Ground ball. Randall charges it. Fires the first. Stearns with a stretch. And they just nip Mumphrey. Nice job by John Stearns around that first base bag. Again, the starting catcher playing first. We load it up the lineup with righties, Underwood struggles with righties. Simmons advances to second, two outs, and here's Ken Ritz, he's 0 for 1. Tyson on deck. They're going to go pitch around, they're going to try to expand the zone on Ritz. Ritz reaches for it, fly ball, Henderson on the run, and he makes the catch, bangs into the side wall and left, and the side is retired. Nice catch by Henderson in foul territory with Go to the bottom of the fourth, three to one Mets. Due up for the Metropolitan, Stearns, Flynn, and Swan to face Underwood. Underwood, 56 pitchers. He's good for 125. Here's the pitch to Stearns, 0 oh, for 1, John. Fly ball, center field, Mumphrey looking up, it's gone! Stearns crushes the ball in his four to one Metropolitans. 
He reached out and touched someone. Here it is. The offering by Underwood. And bippity boppity boom to the moon, Alice. To the moon. Boom goes the ball and John Stearns just touched them all. Flynn greets him quite happily at the plate. Four to one Metropolitans. That was a crush shot. Number 10 for Stearns. That went 391 feet. Here's Doug Flynn. The pitch to Flynn. And Flynn grounds to Tyson. Tyson throws to free. One out. Mets still a buzzed in that dugout on the Stearns blast. Swan's 0 for 1, the pitcher. Underwood deals to his counterpart. Swanee taken all the way outside corner. Strike one. Swan again in disbelief. He's not very happy with those calls. Eric from Higher Ground Gaming says, I wish Bucky was on the DL in the 78 playoff game. So do I. So do I. DJ John says, I vowed not to give Strat any more of my money. I was so upset with them, but like an old girlfriend kept going back. I'm weak. We're all weak, my friend. We're all weak. Let me tell you something about Strat. I knock him a lot sometimes. I had a large order of carded, uh, carded you know, seasons, carded dice seasons. I ordered them in October, and I just started opening them up. And I realized they shorted me a season. I called them up. They didn't even question me. I, I said, I'm short the 82 season. I said, all these other seasons I, I did get. And they, they sent me the 82 seasons. No questions asked. Hats off to Strat. I was very happy about them. So, and they've been having terrific sales. I mean, not as good as action PC sales, but still, some of them are pretty good. All right. One out, no one on. The pitch to Swan. And he strikes out, still mumbling about that first strike. Here's Lenny Randall. He extended his hit streak, second at bat, with a single. He now has a 42-game hit streak. Here comes a drag bunt. That's a beauty. Hit number two for Lenny Randall. You cannot stop Lenny Randall. You can only hope to contain him. He is now two for three. The go-go Mets continue to put pressure. Here comes Felix Mian, El Gato. He's one for two. Even with two outs, we're playing hit and run. Ground ball up the middle, and he bangs it right into Tyson, who's going to back up and cover the bag, and the side is retired as Tyson throws the first. As Mion tried to sneak one through once again. But the Mets score one on the Stearns homer. It's 4-1, to top of the fifth here at Shea. Due up for the Cardinals. Tyson under in the top of the order. Lou Brock, Tyson is 0-1. for one. Swan steadies himself. The pitch to Tyson. Fly ball deep to left. Henderson in the corner. And again, he makes a good catch. Henderson trying to get a little more playing time. And he's impressing us right now. One out. Here's Underwood. They go right at Underwood. Underwood grounds to Randall. Randall charges it. Fires to Stearns. Two down. Swan and the Mets looking for a 1-2-3 inning. Yep, DJ John. 60% off for the baseball game. And... Even though the new baseball games are going to be coming up probably in a couple of months, it's well worth it if you like Strat. It, you can play card and dice on the PC. You can roll your own dice, or you can let the PC roll your dice. It's a fun game. I do like Strat. So two outs top of the order. Brock is 0 for 1. He's flown out to left and walked. We're not going to play the corners in. We're going to play normal. Swan's going to go aggressive to Brock. Ground ball, right side, Mian ranging over, throws to Stearns. One, two, three, go the Cardinals. Great job by Swan. Bottom of the fifth, 4-1 Metropolitans. Do up for the Mets. Meet the Mets. Greet the Mets. Vail, Grody, and Henderson. If anyone gets on, movie star handsome, Lee Mazzilla. Here's the pitch to Vail. He's 0 for 2. And Vail strikes out. He's struggling at the play. 0 for 3. And he's committed an error. One out. Here's Jerry Grody. Grody's 1 for 2. He's going to take... Outside corner, strike one again. Grody and Swan, not real happy. They don't feel they're getting the same calls that Underwood is. No balls, one strike. Grody chokes up a bit on that bat. Digs in that right-hander's bat. Simmons sets the target. The pitch to his counterpart, Grody. And Grody rips a shot to left center field. Two for three. So Grody in the replay now hitting 356. Again, 
we're doing a lot of mixing and matching. We're not playing with uh, original lineups or as played lineups. The other teams are William Fergazi. How you doing, my friend? Hope all is well. So one out, one on. Here comes Henderson, the pitch to Henderson. Henderson grounds it back to Underwood. He throws to free. Grody really got a great run, jump on that. I thought they were going to turn two, but Underwood never looked towards second. He just got the sure second out at first. So Brody's in scoring position, not fleet of foot. That's why he's a catcher. And here's Lee Mazzilli. Mazzilli is one for two. Mazzilli's going to take. Underwood outside corner, ball one. Mazzilli. Gets the green light. And ground ball right side. Freed backhands it. Throws to Underwood covering the bag. And the Mets are retired. Grody stranded at second. Top of the six. Four to one. Metropolitan. And remember, check out all the great content creators in the chat. And if you haven't subscribed to them, please do so. Thank you very much. Do up for the Cardinals, Templeton, Cruz, and Simmons. Templeton is 0 for 1. He's lined to short. And at fly to center, that scored Tyson. Corners move in. He's a 10 out of 10 bunter. So Randall in at third, Stearns in at second. They're going to go aggressive. Trying to get him inside. And that's a shot to center field as that ball tailed out towards the middle of the plate. Brody says, come on, hit the targets one. Cruz is up, eight-game hitting streak. Templeton being held on by Stearns. There's the pitch out. Templeton doesn't go. Templeton's chances go down a bit. Swan wanting to keep the ball down, hoping for two. Pitcher's best friend. He rocks and deals to Cruz. Ground ball. Neon to Flynn to Stearns. Four to six to three as Swan smacks his glove with his hand. Two outs, base is empty. Double player race the runner. And here's Ted Simmons. Simmons has been a thorn in Swan's side. Two for two. On deck, Roger Free. They're going to go aggressive to Simmons. And ball four, and Grody turns to the man in blue behind the plate and just stares at him, wants to know where that pitch was. They're saying it was a bit low. So Simmons has been on base all three times. And here's Roger Freed. He's old for two. Swan takes a deep breath. Arms down to his chest. He rocks and deals. Fly ball to Vale. Vale makes the catch and the side is retired. Walk doesn't hurt. We go to the bottom of the six. Four to one Metropolitans. Two up for the go-go men. Stearns, who homered in his last plate appearance. Flynn and Swan. John Stearns, one for two. He's going to take. Again, they're working that count. Underwood does have some issues finding the zone, though the man behind the plate has been quite generous. Here's the pitch to Johnny Stearns. Ball one. Strike one, Stearns. Now he's ready to grip and rip. Simmons goes through the signs. The lefty Underwood nods his head. He rocks and deals. Strike three. Big swing and a miss. Fastball dipping down and away. Here comes Doug Flynn. Here's the drag bunt. And Flynn drops it down, but Simmons lets it go foul. No balls, two strikes on Doug. Right-handed batter chokes up a bit more on that bat. He awaits the Underwood offering. Pitch homeward bound. Line shot to Templeton. He hit it on the screws, but right at Templeton at short. Two down. Here's the pitcher, Craig Swan. He's thrown 78 pitches. Good for 120. Batting average now down to 263. The pitch to Swanee. And he strikes out. The side is retired. Top of the seventh. 4-1 to Metropolitans in our Go-Go Mets 1977 replay. We are on pace to pass. I believe they won 60 games, 61 games. We have 57 wins already. Again, lots of mix and matching. We're using a lot of math. Eric likes that. And you just sit there and go, well, who did good against who? <laughs> Let's play them. So do up for the Cardinals, Mumphrey, Ritz, and Tyson. Mumphrey, 0 for 2, excellent bunter. Corners move in. Randall in at third. Stearns in at 
first. If you're just joining us, Lenny Randall extended his hit streak to 42 games. Here's the pitch to Mumphrey. That's a base hit to left, so Mumphrey goes the other way. Stearns will hold him on. Here comes Ken Ritz. He's holding it. Again, we're hoping for a double play ball. They're going to go aggressive to Ritz. And that's a base hit right center field. He gets down, gets to the wall. Mazzilli chases it down. And that's a double. Mumphrey is held up. Second and third. Tying run comes to the plate. And Mike Tyson, he's looking for the KO. He's 0 for 2. Top of the seventh. No outs. 4-1 Mets. Lockwood's only good for 20 pitches. Do we go to Rick Baldwin, who, who's been hot? Baldwin has just shut down right-handed batters. And we're going to go to Rick Baldwin. And here comes Rick. Rick Baldwin has been, in recent outings, outstanding. In the replay, two wins, four losses, one save, 4.22. In reality, one and two with a save, 4.45. But he has really shut down right-handed batting. So here's Tyson over to the pitch from Baldwin. Fly ball to Vale. Vale makes the catch. It will Mumphrey tag. He does. And Ritz tags. So it was deep enough for both runners to tag. Vale through to the cutoff man. It's now four to two with one out. And here is Underwood. Let's see if Underwood's going to bat. No, they're going to go to Phillips. Phillips, a former Metropolitan, at the beginning of the 77th season, was moved over to the Cardinals via transaction. We're playing as-played lineups and transactions. I'm not using as-played lineups. I mix and match every other team. So it's as-played rosters at the time, as-played transactions. And Baldwin is bad against lefties. So Baldwin's day is done. And we're going to go to Paul Siebert. Lefty, lefty matchup. Here comes Paul Siebert. Siebert, one win, no losses, no saves in five innings pitched. 3.60. In reality, two and one. 3.86. Here's a pitch to Phillips. Ground ball to Stearns. Throw to home. No. Stearns will take the sure out at first. Ritz scores. It's now four to three. So both inherited runners do score. Mets are clinging to a one-run lead. And now Siebert will deal with Brock. Brock is 0 for 2. Siebert kicks and deals. Going aggressive right at Brock. And he strikes him out. He pumps his fist. The Mets maintain the lead, but they give up two. We go to the bottom of the seventh. Four to three Metropolitans as they play take me out to the ball game. Some peanuts and cracker jacks. I don't care if we ever go back for it. For the Mets, if they lose, it's a shame. One, two, three strikes, you're out at the old So it'll be Randall, Neon, and Vale trying to get back those runs. Randall is two for three. Again, he extended his hit streak with a single to left, his second plate appearance, then had a bunt skip. The pitch to Lenny Randall. Ground ball to Tyson. Racing back to first is free. One down as it goes Tyson to free. Four to three if you're scoring at home. Here's Felix Mian. The new pitcher is Butch Metzger. Metzger in the replay. Five and five, three saves. 4.4 earned run average. In reality, four and two with seven saves. 3.1. Here's the pitch to Mian. Ground ball to Tyson. Rinse and repeat. Over to Freed. Two up, two down via the ground ball to the second baseman. Vale, who's absolutely awful against right-handed pitching, will be called back. Even though he's a better defender, we're going to go with Bruce Beauclair. And here comes Bruce Beauclair. Beauclair hitting a whopping 377. Six homers, 35 ribbons. Metzger readies himself. Simmons sets the target. The pitch to Beauclair. And Beauclair works a walk. So good job by Bruce Beauclair. Oh, Appa Bryant is great, DJ John. 
He's doing the 1964 World Series. Absolutely wonderful channel. I enjoy watching, listening. I do a lot of listening. So Beauclair's at first. Here's Grody. And Grody does not hit well against righties. So here comes Ronnie Hodges. Pinch hit for Grody. Fans clapping along. Mets with a 4-3 lead. Beauclair at first will be off by contact. Freed holding him on. The pitch to Hodges for Metzger. They throw over. Beauclair dives back. Is he out? Is he safe? He is safe. Ooh, that was close. Beauclair shortens up his lead. Hodges awaits the Metzger offering. Pitch homeward bound. And Hodges rips a shot up the middle. Metzger knocks it down, picks it up, throws the first, and they get the slow-footed catcher, and the side is retired. We go to the top of the eighth. Metropolitan's clinging to a 4-3 lead. Beauclair will go to right as he pinched it and walked for Vail. And Ronnie Hodges will go behind the plate. And we're going to go with Skip Lockwood. Coming to pitch. Templeton turns around to bat lefty. Templeton's one for two. Ten out of ten punter. 4-3 Mets. Another close game in our Metropolitan replay. Corners move in. Lockwood. He's ready. He deals to Templeton. And he strikes him out. Lockwood pumps his fist one down. Here's Hector Cruz. Mets throw it around. Cruz is 0 for 3. Lockwood deals quickly to Cruz. And he, wa oh, Hodges wanted that inside pitch. They didn't get it. And Rick Bassetti is the new base runner. Bassetti, 10 out of 10 base runner. He's the tying run. At first, Stern's holding him on. Here's Simmons. Simmons is 2 for 2. Lockwood throws over to first. Stearns applies the tag. But Bassetti's back. Trying to shorten up that lead by Bassetti. Lockwood again looks to first. Now in at Hodges. He nods his head. The pitch to Simmons. Ground ball. Flynn to Mian. But Bassetti goes in hard to Mian. Breaks up the double play. What's good for the goose is good for the gander. Remember, Mets Mazzilli. And Mian broke up double plays against the Cardinals. And now the Cardinals return the favor. Keep the inning alive. Tying run is Simmons at first. Go ahead run at the plate in Freed. Freed has six homers. Average now has dropped under 400 as he's 0 for 3. It's 386. Does have 15 ribbies. Lockwood, 15 pitches. He's good for 20. Takes a deep breath. Arms down to his chest. He rocks and deals. Hodges has a word first. Now he rocks and deals. And he strikes him out on the inside pitch. Big swing and a miss. Lockwood does his J-O-B. We go to the bottom of the eighth. Mets fans are happy but nervous as the Metropolitans cling to a one-run lead. Four to three. Due up in the bottom of the eighth. Henderson, Mazzilli, and Stearns hoping to add to that lead. Henderson is one for two. The pitch to Hendu Kendu. And Henderson rips her shot to center. And Mumphrey makes the catch on the sinking line drive. One out. And here's Lee Mazzilli. Corners move in. Mazzilli, eight out of ten bunker. Mazzilli switches over to the left side against the right-handed throwing Metzger. Here's the pitch to Lee Mazzilli. Mazzilli rips her shot the other way. So Mazzilli's at first. Mazzilli's batting average is now 286. 61% chance of stealing second. Stearns is at the plate. Let's just take a look at Johnny Stearns for a moment. In the replay off righties, he's hitting 276. I was going to go with Crane Pool and have him play first. He's a much better first baseman. He's coming in anyway. So Ed Crane Pool in the replay against righties is batting 350. 
So here comes Eddie Cranepool. He's going to pinch it for John Stearns and stay in the plate first. So here's Eddie Cranepool, 327, 8 homers, 69 ribbies. That's fans clapping, wishing, wanting, hoping for Crane. Metzger peaks to first. Here's the hit and run. There goes Mazzelli. Crane pool. That ball is gone! Crane pool rips a two-run homer in the hit and run. And just like that, the Mets are back on top by three. Six to three, Metropolitan. Eddie Crane pool comes through once again. Unbelievable. Pinch hit homer by Eddie Crane pool. He crushes it to right. Bassetti looked up and watched it go bye-bye like a beautiful balloon up. Up and away like a beautiful balloon. Bippity boppity boom to the moon, Alice. Boom goes the ball and Eddie Cranepool touches them all. A joyful Mazzilli and Cranepool go back to the Mets dugout. The Mets are up now six to three. It's so beautiful you can't just watch it once, twice, but three times. There it goes, folks. Eddie Cranepool, pinch hit, two run homer. That's go, go Mets baseball, my friends. And here's Doug Flynn. The pitch to Flynn. Ground ball, right side. Tyson diving, stop from his knees. He throws to Freed. And they nip Flynn by a step. So there's two outs, base is empty. And here's Lockwood. Lockwood has thrown 20 pitches. Mumphrey the switch hitter then you know Lockwood's gonna hit for himself the pitch to Lockwood and Lockwood singles up the middle here's Lenny Randall can Randall pick up his third hit Lockwood being held on by Freed six to three Mets hit and run there goes Lockwood Randall grounds it right side Tyson knocks it down picks it up throws to Freed and the side is retired we always stick with go-go Mets baseball so Lockwood He's going to try to get this save here. He's got a three-run lead. He looks to be tired. Here's the... Oh, Crane Pool will go into play first. And he's a five out of ten defensive range. Here's the pitch to Mumphreys, who's one for three. And he strikes him out. All right, two outs away. Lockwood tiring. Here's Ritz. Now, Bob, Ak Bob Apodaca is up and ready in the pen. Merritt a lefty but tough on righties All right, let's, Lockwood would definitely not be available for the next few games William Fergazi says Cranepool might get to be on Kiner's corner after the game he just might my good friend William here's the pitch to Ritz one for three Ritz ground ball right side Beauclair charges and that's it for Lockwood that's it comes Bob Apodaca. Oh. There's Bob Apodaca. Apodaca looking to nail it down here. He needs to get two outs. 6-3 Mets. Tying run on deck circle. Metzger the, the pitcher. So you get a pinch hitter there. Ritz is at first. One out. Tyson's at the plate. Apodaca on the replay. Four wins, one loss, one save. And 44 and a third innings pitch. 2.44 earned run average. In reality, 4-8 and eight with five saves. 3.43. The pitch to Tyson. Ground ball. Apodaca takes the sure out at first. Ritz advances to second. Two down. Two down. The Mets are one out away. And we'll just click pitch. Here comes the pinch hitter. And the pinch hitter for the Cardinals is Mike Anderson. Anderson batting 224, five homers, and 17 ribbies. In actuality, only batted 200 off right handed pitching. Let's see in the replay. I'll read it to you. You're not going to see it because OBS is a pain in the butt to bring up windows. Right so in the replay, he's doing even worse. 175 off right. -hands. Interesting choice. Apodaca looking to nail down the Mets. 58th victory. He kicks and deals to Anderson. Fly ball to Beauclair. Beauclair goes back. He makes the catch. And the Mets win 6-3. As they play Brass Bonanza. Yeah. 
The Metropolitans win 6-3. to three. Swan gets the win. Lockwood would get what they now call a hold. And Apodaca the save. Powered by Eddie Cranepool's two-run pinch hit homer. And that just put the final nails in the coffin. So let's go to the box score. Mets avenge a prior defeat to the Cardinals. And the screen will go black for a second. And then the box score will come up. There it is, folks. Let's go to the pitching first. So for St. Louis, Underwood went six innings. He gets the loss. He's now two and six. Eight hits, four runs, all of them earned. One homer, a walk, and five Ks. The homer was John Stearns. Metzger went two innings, three hits, two runs. They were both earned. Two-run homer, pinch hit by Ed Cranepool. Swan is now 7-5 and five as he picks up the win in six innings of work. Five hits, three runs, two of them earned as uh, Vale, usually a very good outfielder, made a two-base error that led to the Cardinals' first run. Walked two, struck out none. Baldwin, well, he came in, got his righty batter that we wanted. Siebert got his two lefties. Lockwood went an inning and a third. He just tired. He couldn't do it. He's been used a lot in this replay. Gave up one hit, one walk, struck out three. And Apodaca picked up his second saves by getting the final two outs in the top of the ninth. So the go-go Mets are now 58 and 53. St. Louis drops to 55 and 59. Let's go to the batter. The Cardinals only had six hits. Templeton had one. Simmons had two. Mumphrey had one. And Ritz had two. The runs were knocked in by Templeton. He had one. Tyson had one. And Phillips, the pinch hitter, had one. So those are your hits. So there's a lot of offers. Striking out for the car. Uh, Brock walked once. Cruz walked once. Simmons walked once. Strikeouts Brock, Templeton, Freed, and Mumphrey. So in defeat, the Cardinals, 30 at-bats, 3 runs, 6 hits, 3 ribbies, 3 walks, 4 Ks, a double, and a partridge in a pear tree. For the Metropolitans, the go-go Mets, Lenny Randall is, extends his hit streak to 42 games. He was 2 for 5. He extended it second at-bat, single to left. He had a run scored. He's now batting 371. Felix Mian, 1 for 4, now batting 246. Mike Vale struggles at the plate in recent times have continued. He was 0 for 3. He did have a ribby on a ground ball, but that's more due to the breakup of the double play by Mian. Did strike out twice. He's now batting 338. Beauclair, pinch hitter, went to play right. He walked. Grody, hot hitting against left-handed pitching, continues. He was 2 for 3 with a run scored. He's now batting 356. Hodges came in. And he was 0 for 1, now batting 252. Henderson, the worst 300 hitter I've ever managed in any sim game, was 1 for 3, scored a run, and walked. He's now 323. Mazzilli, 2 for 4, 1 run, 1 ribby, 286. John Stearns, 1 for 3, a run scored, 2 ribbies, a 2 run homer. A strikeout, he's now batting 264. Crane pool, out of that position, they had 2 homers. Pinch hit, 2 run homer, he's now batting 329. Flynn 0 for 4, batting 191. Swan 0 for 3. Average drops, and he struck out twice. And Stern struck out once, and Vale struck out twice. Uh, his average is now dropped to 256. Baldwin pitched it on hit. Siebert pitched it on hit. Lockwood was 1 for 1, now batting 250. Apodaca pitched it on hit. He got the save. The Metropolitans in victory, 35 at bat, 6 runs, 11 hits, 6 ribbies, 2 walks, 5 Ks, 2 homers. Player of the game. Meet the Mets. Who's going to be on Kiner's corner? John Stearns will also be there with Lee uh, Lee Mazzilli and Eddie Cranepool. So along with everybody is going to be on Kiner's corner. That's the way the Mets roll. The Mets left seven runners on base. The Cardinals six. Recap. And we'll just leave it up there for a moment so you guys can read it. Um, Ed Cranepool, one for one. 
two-run homer. So Ritz was two for four. He was the Cardinals player of the game. He had a double. Grody was two for three with a stolen base. Stearns, one for three with a two-run homer. And Crane pulled pinch hit, two-run homer. Those are the men. Long, I mean, Swan did his job. He started to tire, but we, we, we've we learned to go to the bullpen a little quicker <laughs> with the Mets and just try to mix and match. So I like to say thank you to Sports Time Machine. Check out his wonderful channel, DJ John 444. Thank you, Higher Ground Gaming. That's our good friend Eric. Check out his channel, channel William Fergazi. Always good to see you. Uh, w Vogs, thank you very much. Check out his channel as we scroll up. And let's see who else was here. It's only going to let me scroll up so far. Jake Cruz, thank you very much. As he had a crash, but we appreciate him coming by. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Again, thank you. Health and happiness. Hope all is well. This joyous time of year. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. God bless. You know what's coming, folks. Peace. Love you all.